हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू अकाउंटिंग स्टैंडर्ड 23 अकाउंटिंग फॉर इन्वेस्टमेंट इन एसोसिएट इन कंसोलिडेटेड फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट विल कम टू क्वेश्चन नंबर टू नाउ क्वेश्चन नंबर टू ए बी सी होल्ड्स ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट शेयर इन पी क्यू आर एट अ कॉस्ट ऑफ रुपीज टेन लैख these investments were acquired for 10 lakh there was no goodwill or capital reserve at the time of acquisition so the problem is saying there is no goodwill or capital reserve at the time of acquisition you are not required to prepare this working note on goodwill or capital reserve the total share capital of pqr is rupees 40 lakh so if you take 40 lakh into 25% it will come to 10 lakh only and if you compare cost with net asset 10 lakh goodwill is zero and for the current year it has made profit of 6 lakh out of which dividend at 10% of the share capital has been paid dividend has been paid find out the amount to be shown in the consolidated financial statement as an investment in associate so in this question what i'll do on the asset side we will have non current asset and under that we will have investment in associate the question is how much amount we will put so we'll put a working note in working note cost of acquisition is 10 lakh cost of acquisition first line 10 lakh then you will add share in profit of associate you will add share in profit of associate the problem says over here 6 lakh rupees profit was made so your share in profit is 6 lakh into 25% that is 1 lakh 50000 when the associate makes profit the net asset increases less but when the associate pays dividend the net asset of associate decreases so we are going to reduce the carrying amount of investment less dividend received dividend received will be total dividend paid is 40 lakh into 10% this is the dividend paid by associate total 40 lakh share capital at the rate 10% but abc limited will receive only 25% so that is 4 lakh into 25% 1 lakh and therefore the carrying amount at the end of the year should be 10 lakh 50000 this is how the student should prepare the answer okay any query on this you can check the answer printed in the book also first you take 10 lakh add 1 lakh 50000 minus 1 lakh carrying amount 10 lakh 50000 then we'll go to question number 3 we'll go to question number 3 xyz limited acquired 30% equity share capital of dev limited at a cost of 6 lakh so the cost is 6 lakh underline share in net asset is 30% you have acquired 30% stake with 30% it is an associate on the date of acquisition the balance sheet of dev limited shows the following so this is the balance sheet on the date of acquisition this is net asset or equity on the date of acquisition 
if you multiply by 30 percent that will give you share in net asset. So, 10 plus 3 15 lakh into 30 percent 4 lakh 50 thousand 6 lakh minus 4 lakh 50 thousand 1 lakh 50 thousand will be goodwill at the time of acquisition we have to compute goodwill 6 lakh minus share in net asset 4 lakh 50 thousand then since then they have had made a profit of 2 lakh 50 thousand and has declared and paid a dividend at the rate 15 percent same problem this part only in this question goodwill is required find out the amount at which investment in associate will be shown in the consolidated financial statement so here what we'll do first step will be calculation of goodwill and for that we have to simply write point a cost of acquisition which is 6 lakh and point b share in net assets of associate on date of acquisition share in net asset of associate on the date of acquisition that will be 30 percent of 15 lakhs 4 lakh 50 thousand so point c you will have goodwill 1 lakh 50 thousand goodwill 1 lakh 50 thousand goodwill then the next step is to find out the carrying amount at the end of the year carrying amount at the end of the year so you have cost of acquisition 6 lakh you have cost of acquisition 6 lakh then this associate has made a profit of 2 lakh 50 thousand add share in profit of associate you have 30 percent holding into 2 lakh 50 thousand that will be equal to 75,000 and minus you have received dividend dividend received will be the total share capital is 10 lakh dividend is paid at the rate 15 percent and your share in that would be 30 percent 10 lakh into 15 percent into 30 percent that is 45,000 and therefore the carrying amount will be 6 lakh plus 75,000 minus 45,000 is 6 lakh 30,000 and then the presentation in balance sheet presentation in balance sheet extract you will write asset side you will write non current assets you will write investment in dev limited which is an associate 6 lakh 30 thousand and you will write a note in bracket includes goodwill includes goodwill rupees 1 lakh 50 thousand includes goodwill rupees 1 lakh 50 thousand the last line is includes goodwill rupees 1 lakh 50 thousand and this way the student should present the answer in the exam first compute goodwill carrying amount and how the investment will appear in the balance sheet that was my question number three now come to the institute answer they have presented like this first they have computed goodwill 
then they have computed the carrying amount 6,30,000. Now we will go to question number 4. Now we will go to question number 4. Parent limited acquired 25 percent parent limited acquired 25 percent share of associate limited at a cost of rupees 30 lakh same discussion 25 percent stake 30 percent is the cost on this date the equity share capital of associate limited was 1 crore 20 lakh and the accumulated reserve is 10 lakh so this is net asset on the date of acquisition total will be 1.30 crores thereafter associate limited incurred a loss of rupees 60 lakh in the first year first year loss 60 lakh calculate the share of loss of investor reduce it from carrying amount of investment and a loss of rupees 80 lakh next year similarly calculate the share of loss in the second year reduce it find out the amount of goodwill or capital reserve that we can do how the investment in associate will be shown in the consolidated financial statement in the next two year so we have to prepare the balance sheet for next two year how do you proceed with such question first you should compute goodwill because they have asked you or capital reserve goodwill or capital reserve under that we need to write cost of acquisition which is in the given in the first line 30 lakh this is cost of acquisition 30 lakh less share in net assets of associate share in net asset of associate which is again 25 percent into 1 crore 20 lakh is share capital and 10 lakh is the reserve 1 crore 30 lakh into 25 percent it is 32 lakh 50 thousand so this time we are getting capital reserve I have given the answer in your book you can later on solve in the notebook on your own right now the student will only con concentrate on understanding part capital reserve 250,000 cost of acquisition is less now we will come to step 2 carrying amount carrying amount at the end of year 1 carrying amount at the end of year 1 so we have cost of acquisition 30 lakh in bracket includes capital reserve includes capital reserve 2 lakh 50 thousand and then you will write less share in loss share in loss first year loss is 60 lakh 60 lakh into 25 percent that is 15 lakh so balance is 15 lakh first year balance will be 15 lakh first year balance will be 50 lakh step 3 will be carrying amount at the end of year 2 
carrying amount at the end of year 2. Now here I will first write opening balance. Opening balance will be 15 lakh includes capital reserve includes capital reserve 250000 less share in loss oh this time the loss is 80 lakh into 25 percent 80 lakh into 25 percent 20 lakh now what amount you will write in the outer column nil why nil because we have studied that if after adjusting the share in loss if the balance becomes negative you will record nil amount you can show negative amount only if the investor has only if the investor has undertaken an obligation or has given guarantee or has made payment on behalf of the associate if nothing is given if the balance is negative I will say carrying amount will be nil and I will write a note for that. So that note is printed in the book below the second year you can copy that note from there. So what do you do first step in your exam would be to find capital reserve second step in your exam would be to find capital carrying amount at the end of year one third step in your exam would be to find carrying amount at the end of year 2. I have written everything you have to concentrate on understanding and after year 2 because you are not writing negative 5 lakh you need to write a note and what is the note you will write if under the equity method an investor's share of loss of an associate equals or exceeds the carrying amount of the investment the investor ordinarily discontinues recognizing its share of further losses and the investment is reported at nil value. So this first note you will write, second note you will write below additional losses are provided for to the extent that investor has incurred obligation or made payment on behalf of associate to satisfy the obligation of that associate that the investor has guaranteed or to which investor is otherwise committed. So this note you have to write in case if you are getting a negative balance but you have taken zero value. We will go to question number 5 now. Question number 5 another important question. Big limited has two subsidiaries. These are subsidiaries mini and small it will not affect my answer. It is a listed company and prepares consolidated financial statement. So the requirement of this chapter is that the entity should be preparing consolidated financial statement in order to have significant influence over financial and reporting policies. Big Limited acquired 22% control of group soft limited so this time the stake is 22 percent total share capital is 20 lakh at a cost of 6 lakh this is the cost this is the net asset 20 lakh there was no accumulated profit or reserve losses on the date of acquisition so their balance sheet has only share capital doesn't have reserve so this 6 lakh and 22 percent of 2 lakh will be required for calculation of Yes, calculation of goodwill or capital reserve. So my first task will be to find goodwill or capital reserve based on this information. Second task, during the next two year of operation, Group Soft Limited incurred total operating losses of 30 lakh. So in the next two year, associate loss is 30 lakh show the investment in associate in the consolidated financial statement of big limited again the presentation is to be given in consolidated financial statement when immediately after acquisition in groups of 
and second after the two years of operation. So, first we will see calculation of goodwill very easy first step is calculation of goodwill answer is given to you you just have to observe and understand. So, how do I compute goodwill I compare cost of acquisition 6 lakh with the share in the net asset of the associate on the date of acquisition. So, this associate has only share capital it does not have reserve. So, the net asset will be equal to 20 lakh you have acquired 22 percent share share in net asset of the associate on the date of acquisition is 4 lakh 40 thousand compare 6 lakh with 4 lakh 40 thousand and you will get goodwill is equal to 1 lakh 60 thousand. So, we have to identify goodwill on the date of acquisition and disclose it separately. So, how my balance sheet on the date of acquisition look like that is my first question consolidated balance sheet on the date of acquisition would look like this asset side non current asset right here asset side non current asset it will be shown in non, non current asset investment under that investment in group soft limited associate company with a disclosure about goodwill includes goodwill 160,000 and the amount is 6 lakh the amount is 6 lakh this is on the date of acquisition. How will the balance sheet look like consolidated financial statement look like consolidated financial statement look like instead of CFS you write here balance sheet how consolidated balance sheet look like after two year we had made an investment at a cost of 6 lakh which includes goodwill of 1 lakh 60 thousand but during next two year there was a loss incurred by the associate 30 lakh and we have 22 percent stake therefore it is 6 lakh 60 thousand 6 lakh minus 6 lakh 60 thousand is negative but I will not take negative number I will write nil here and I will write a note which is already printed in the book same note copy from question number 5 same note copy from question number 5 ok. Now we will come to question number 6 very important question number 6 write down very important question number 6 is publishers limited acquired 30 percent equity share capital so the stake acquired is 30 percent of bookland limited at a cost of 4 lakh 50 thousand at a cost of 4 lakh 50,000 30 percent stake cost of acquisition 4 lakh 50,000 the comparative balance sheet of bookland limited on the date of acquisition is given below ok. So, now in this question there is a small typing mistake share capital is 10 lakh take a pencil match 10 lakh general reserve 2 lakh and 2 lakh 30,000 securities premium 1 lakh and 1 lakh current liabilities is 1 lakh 50 thousand and proposed dividend at the end of the year is 50 thousand. So, the students are requested to match the figures with the description there is one line mis misalignment asset side is ok fixed asset investment current asset this is the balance sheet of bookland limited who is bookland associate instead of giving you the figures of profit and reserve directly the student will have to find it out ok 
so on the date of acquisition we have share capital 10 lakh general reserve 2 lakh securities premium 1 lakh so that will give me the net asset on the date of acquisition share capital general reserve securities premium if i add this three number that will give me net asset on the date of acquisition okay or what you can do you can take the total of the asset 14 lakh 50 thousand minus current liability 1 lakh 50 thousand 14 lakh 50 thousand minus 1 lakh 50 thousand 13 lakh even that way you can compute net asset on the date of acquisition now the next task is to find out the current year's profit how do i find current year's profit how do i find current year's profit share capital has not changed securities premium sorry general reserve this is general reserve general reserve has increased from 2 lakh to 330 so increase in general reserve is due to transfer from profit and loss account to general reserve securities premium securities premium has not changed no problem current liability no problem but proposed dividend during the year created is 50,000 so current years profit will be equal to sum of two numbers one is increase in general reserve that is 3 lakh 30 thousand minus 2 lakh this is a hidden adjustment and some students may not be able to understand how general reserve has increased PNL account debit to general reserve this way general reserve increases how proposed dividend appears in the balance sheet PNL account debit to proposed dividend 50,000 50, but PNL account is not in the balance sheet which means whatever profit they have earned they have either transferred to general reserve or they have made provision for proposed dividend out of it so total profit for the year total profit for the year will be how much 130000 transferred to general reserve and 50000 transferred to proposed dividend so hidden information is current year profit current year profit is 180000 current year profit is 180000 so this is the information we got from the balance sheet now the question is there was no revaluation of asset by bookland very good current asset of bookland limited at year end includes stock costing 60000 purchase from publisher limited so this is a transfer of stock from publisher to bookland and therefore there is an unrealized profit which sales at cost plus 20 percent so you need to compute unrealized profit 20 by 120 because it is cost plus 20 percent into 60,000 and your share is 30 percent so multiply by 30 percent and to the extent of unrealized profit investment carrying amount will be reduced share in profit add unrealized profit reduce show the investment in associate in the consolidated balance sheet to be prepared by publisher limited at the beginning again two times and at the end so what will be my first step my first step will be to find out goodwill or capital reserve 
question in front of you answer is already printed you can only understand the you can focus on understanding right now and as a homework solve in notebook a good student if you are really thinking that you are a good student and you want to come in merit you want to pass in the first attempt you want to make your parents proud all these questions you must do in the notebook okay all these question you must do in the notebook so i will first write cost of acquisition these questions are not in the study material question 1 2 3 4 5 6 we have taken are not in your institute material we have taken efforts to bring it for you from so many other reference books so that you will have ample practice so what you can do in return you can solve in the notebook on your own that much you can do so you will have to first find out cost of acquisition then equity or net asset on the date of acquisition share capital plus general reserve plus securities premium 13 lakh what is your percentage holding 30% share in net asset on the date of acquisition 3 lakh 90000 therefore goodwill 4 lakh 50000 Minus three lakh ninety thousand. Goodwill will be sixty thousand rupees. This is for disclosure purpose under AS twenty three. The question is how the balance sheet would look like at the beginning. Consolidated financial statement of publisher limited at the beginning. Asset side. You write here non current asset. under that investment investment in bookland limited associate cost 4 lakh 50000 and you will write as a disclosure includes goodwill of rupees 60000 now we'll come to the second working note which is very important something new for you how much profit did the associate make in the first year after acquisition so for that we will have to look at the general reserve figure it was 2 lakh now it is 2 lakh 30000 so general reserve has increased by 1 lakh 30000 and then we have to look at the proposed dividend which was zero and now it is 50000 so during the year they must have debited the pnl account and credited general reserve and credited proposed dividend so total profit of the year is 1 lakh 80000 and the share of publisher limited out of that would be 30% which is 30% of 1 lakh 80000 and it comes to 54000 now there is an unrealized profit on stock adjustment also this now they have added in the problem so what do i do unrealized profit is equal to first we'll compute unrealized profit which is 20 by 120 into 60000 10000 and publisher limited is holding 30% share so publisher limited share would be 30% into 10000 which comes to 3000 okay now how the balance sheet would look like at the end of the year cfs of publisher limited at the end of the year asset side non current asset non current asset so we will have investment investment in bookland limited investment in bookland limited in bracket including goodwill of 60000 4 50000 plus you will add share in profit which we have computed 54000 draw a line take a total 5 4000 and this unrealized profit will be deducted less share in unrealized profit on stock 3000 3000 you deduct 
this 3000 should be written here in bracket and therefore and therefore the balance will be below 5 lakh 1000 this will be the answer the answer is over but the student can have a question why we have not adjusted the proposed dividend proposed dividend is not yet paid unless proposed dividend is paid it will not reduce the net asset of the associate okay and hence we are going to adjust dividend from associate only on receipt basis we are going to adjust dividend from associate on receipt basis so that was my question number six any query no queries if you have a query you will mail me at vinod underscore ca at yahoo.com you can send whatsapp on 97669-21860 so if you have doubt on any of these questions you can ask the doubt but please mention your name your subject your topic question number page number and the photo of the question and the answer easy for us to immediately provide you the reply now we'll go to question number seven again very important taken from reference book question number one two three four five six seven we have taken from reference book your study material does not have sufficient number of questions but for exam sake you need to prepare more question number seven h limited has a hundred percent subsidiary and is required to prepare cfs so this company prepares cfs it holds 35 percent equity share capital of x which is classified as an associate all the three companies usually transact in the sale and purchase of the goods from one another while preparing the consolidated financial statement the following information has been extracted first is stock of x limited includes goods of 25000 purchased from h limited which sells goods at cost plus 25% stock of h limited includes goods of 36000 purchased from x which sells goods at cost plus 20% so you have to compute unrealized profit on this when the profit margin is given on cost you will take 25 by 125 into 25,000 so unrealized profit 5,000 20 by 120 into 36,000 that is 6,000 so total unrealized profit is 11,000 share of H limited will be 35 percent of 11,000 and that comes to 3850 that comes to 3850 find out the amount of unrealized profit to be eliminated from consolidated balance sheet the answer is 3850 also record the journal entry so journal entry would be consolidated p l account debit 3850 to investment in associate 3850 profit will reduce by 3850 investments carrying amount will reduce by 3850 the answer is given in the same way I have explained first you compute unrealized profit okay on first transfer then you compute unrealized profit on the second transfer take the total 11,000 take 35 percent 3850 and pass journal entry okay this is how you will solve question of unrealized profit for AS23.
Now come to question number 8. Question number 8. ABC and XYZ are independent companies and having no corporate relationship. In the beginning of the current year, ABC has purchased 65 percent share capital of XYZ. So originally they have purchased 65 percent thus making the latter to be a subsidiary. So initially the relationship was parent and subsidiary. However, under the memorandum of understanding, there is an agreement that ABC will offer 45 percent share of XYZ to public after the affecting holding after which effective holding of ABC will be reduced to 20 percent. So first they will acquire 60 percent then sell 45 percent now holding 20 percent which is considered to be sufficient for exercising significant influence and now you are holding having significant influence. The disinvestment plan was implemented in the same year. So the 45 percent was sold in the same financial year. How should ABC treat the investment in XYZ at the end of the year for the purpose of preparation of CFS? So the answer will be it will be treated as associate because now you are holding 20 percent share and you are able to have significant influence. So the treatment for the XYZ in the books of ABC would be it will be now treated as associate you are able to exercise significant influence and which standard will be applied for the purpose of accounting of investment in associate AS 23. AS 23 would be applied. Okay. Question number 9 from your study material. A limited acquired 25 percent share in B. A limited acquired 25 percent share in B. Date underline on 31st March 2002. 4 rupees 3 lakh the balance sheet of B, B is the associate on 31st March 2 is given below, is given below. So this is the balance sheet on the date of acquisition you have 5 lakh share capital, 5 lakh reserve. So total net asset is 10 lakh and you are you have acquired 25 percent of that then during the year ending 31st March 3 after one year look at the date it is after one year the following are the additional information available A limited received dividend from B limited for the year ended 31st March 2002 at 40% from the reserve. Dividend was received for year ended 31st March 2002. Date of acquisition is also 31st March 2002. So this is called this is called dividend out of pre acquisition profit. This is called dividend out of pre acquisition profit. AS 13 will apply. And according to S13, it should be credited to investment account. Dividend received out of pre acquisition profit should be credited to investment account and investment account balance will reduce. Investment account balance will reduce. So let us understand how much dividend, how much was your cost of acquisition? first line of the question we are discussing this adjustment 1 cost of acquisition 3 lakh less dividend out of 
प्री एक्विजिशन प्रॉफिट इज फिफ्टी थाउजेंड सो माई रिवाइज कॉस्ट ऑफ एक्विजिशन विल बिकम टू लैख फिफ्टी थाउजेंड दिस इज एडजस्टमेंट एज पर ए एस थर्टीन एज पर अकाउंटिंग स्टैंडर्ड थर्टीन दिस इज नॉट एज पर ए एस ट्वेंटी थ्री फर्स्ट एडजस्टमेंट इज एज पर ए एस थर्टीन सो आई विल फर्स्ट रिवाइज इट टू टू लैख फिफ्टी थाउजेंड एंड देन आई विल अप्लाई फर्दर कैलकुलेशन नाउ इट सेज बी लिमिटेड मेड अ प्रॉफिट आफ्टर टैक्स ऑफ सेवन लैख फॉर दिस ईयर एड शेयर इन प्रॉफिट बी लिमिटेड डिक्लेयर्ड अ डिविडेंड एट द रेट फिफ्टी परसेंट फॉर द ईयर एंडेड थर्टी फर्स्ट मार्च टू थाउजेंड थ्री इट इज डिक्लेयर्ड नॉट पेड ऑन थर्टीएथ अप्रिल टू थाउजेंड थ्री दिस विल नॉट बी एडजस्टेड बिकॉज डिविडेंड इज ओनली डिक्लेयर्ड बट डिविडेंड वॉज नॉट पेड बाई थर्टी फर्स्ट मार्च ट्वेंटी टू थाउजेंड थ्री डिविडेंड वॉज पेड ऑन थर्टीएथ अप्रिल सो प्रपोज डिविडेंड इज नॉट एडजस्टेड this will not be adjusted this is given to test you this company is preparing cfs if it is preparing cfs as 23 is applicable calculate goodwill on acquisition how do i compute goodwill i will take revised cost of acquisition 2 lakh 50000 less share in revised cost of acquisition will be taken because cost of acquisition will reduce because of pre acquisition dividend less share in net assets on the date of acquisition so i'll go back on the date of acquisition share capital plus reserve is 10 lakh into 25% This is two lakh fifty thousand. So the answer is zero because there is no difference. Difference is zero. So in this question, goodwill is zero. First answer, goodwill is zero. Second answer, how will A Limited reflect the investment in the CFS? So my cost of acquisition is two lakh fifty thousand after adjusting pre-acquisition dividend, and I will add share in profit. so first answer is goodwill please check goodwill calculation please check you need to revise the investment cost then compare with share in net asset and now my question is how the investment would look like for their ended 31st march 2003 cost of acquisition i will take would be the revised one 2 lakh 50 thousand which includes goodwill of zero and share in profit in of b limited 7 lakh into 25% that is 1 lakh 75 thousand so my closing amount will be 4 lakh 25 thousand what about dividend dividend which was received in the current year was dividend out of pre acquisition profit so that will be reduced from investment we have done dividend which is declared or proposed but not paid by the end of the year 31st march 2003 will not be adjusted dividend proposed will not be adjusted it will be adjusted when the dividend will be paid by b and received by a okay so i have solved nine questions you will try the other questions also okay thank you very much try the other problems also